Alright, here we are. We're going to do a quick video with the um, VAG EDC suite on basically what I wanted to show you was how to do your um, fast idle for winter to help with warm ups. So basically, you're going to come in here, you're going to go to open file, you're going to pick your file right here. If you don't know how to download your file, I will link it up top because I have videos on how to do that. So you're going to open your file, it's going to pull it up. You're just going to scroll down to the subcategory right here, miscellaneous. And you better know if your car is automatic, it's code block one, manual is two, and if you have DSG, it's four. So we're on, we'll say it's automatic right here this brings up see can I make this larger I can okay this brings up our file so at negative 20 C the idle would be 1160 rpms so um, negative 20 C Fahrenheit that is 4 degrees Fahrenheit so basically what we can do is we can edit I believe it's this one. Let me see here. We got 253. No, no, this isn't it. We're going to click. I'm trying to remember how we do this. Alright, yeah. So, it's not going to let us do it that way. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to raise this. Delete it like that. And negative 20 so if we're at say 0 degrees out be 17 so we can raise this to 1300 and click and that will raise it right here and then this you also can change your idle speed which we're going to do here. So, um, one of the problems with the ALH is the vibrations. So, changing your idle speed from the stock 903 RPMs up to um, 950 usually seems to make it run a lot smoother. So, you'll just do it like that, and you will hit save. And then we're going to do your second idle right, RPM2 here. Pull that up. Erase that 1300. And clear this one. And do 950. And then you hit save. Close. And that's it for doing your dynamic idle. Real easy. Uh, also, if you want to turn off your EGR, you could do it while you're here. Here's our EGR file. So you'd click EGR code block one for your automatic. Drag. Select all of this, just like that. And then we come up here to our tab. Change it to fill. Put it to zero. And then hit the execute button. Just like that. Shuts off your EGR. Helps clean your intake. All kinds of stuff like that. A lot of other things, a lot of other cool things you can do with the software. If you I'm trying to think of one more I can show you guys. I'm I'm not gonna get into this actually. I don't wanna save that for another video. One thing you can do though is pick your temperature when it starts the hardest. So say four Celsius. Click on your automatic and it brings up a no, I'm on the wrong one. Hold up. I want start IQ here it is. This brings it up. So this is X is Celsius, Y is engine speed, and Z is requested. So basically this is gonna be our degrees are gonna be Celsius right here. So we would go to whatever the temperature is that it struggles at, which I'm gonna say 15 would be 30, 
negative. All right, we'll do right here. We're basically going to select these just like this. And then we're going to add, you're going to have to experiment with this based on um, your card to get it, to get it fine tuned. But for mine, it was about adding four. You can see the jump right here. We'll even do this one just to level it off. And then we can select all of the cells just like this, right click and smooth them. And that will help a good amount with your starting. Hit your save file, close, and that's it. You just did your dynamic idle, turned up your idle speed for vibration, and gave it some more fuel. So you would also go through and edit based on each temperature how much fuel you want to give it. And that is it. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Feel free to subscribe, comment, let me know. Thanks for watching.